in our first segment, I showed you why this location qualified as a great portrait location. Uh, in this segment, I'll show you technically how I use it to do a family portrait. The first thing we start with is placement of our posing rock. It's in the shade. We avoid spotty shade, of course. It's also some distance from the background. The further away from the background it is, the more the background is going to be out of focus. So I keep that as far as I can away from that. The posing rock, we start with this as a traditional uh, poser uh, because it gets the head heights at different levels. Um, it's comfortable to sit on, especially for senior citizens. And the kids love to play on it. So we start with this and then we move on to uh, poses without the rock uh, on the ground, do some walking stuff. And so this is how we start the session. <clears throat> okay, we'll start with our baseline exposure back at our subject position using the uh, Sekonic Incident Light Meter, the uh, model L358, works really cool. We're pointing the hemisphere at the camera, getting our reading I expected at 6.3 at uh, 125th of a second, 400 ISO. So we're set there. Our next step is our white balance. I'll give that to my subject here. She can, Mary can hold that. Hold that, Mary, right like that. So we're going to do our custom white balance with an elastolite. It's a really nice device because it's got a target on it that the autofocus can lock onto. <clears throat> Put it to the camera's Look at the histogram. Well, we're going to do a... Thank you, Mary. We'll just put that over there. Our next step would be the face mask histogram. The face mask histogram is something most people probably haven't heard of. Um, the standard histogram as a full frame tool is pretty much useless. So what we're trying to do here, by zooming in on the face, we make the histogram into a very accurate spot meter. That way, because we're, we're trying to expose the, the most important part of the image are the flesh tones. So this puts the histogram to good use. And to do that, I will zoom in on Mary's face, super close up, filling the frame, a little bit of hair, <clears throat> and call up the histogram. Our mound is right in between the lines, looking good. Any adjustment I need to make on the histogram, um, I'll do it with the shutter speed, not the f-stop. Because I don't want to change my depth of field at all. So we use the shutter speed. And that's why we're on a tripod, because at this point the light starts fading. The shutter speed may go down to a sixtieth of a second or so. So that's why we're on a tripod to take care of that. Looks good. Okay. Now we're going to place the camera at our predetermined tripod position, which in this case is about 30 feet out from my subjects. But why here? What I want to do in most portrait situations is use the longest focal length I can use and still be able to comfortably communicate with the subjects. But at the same time, I need to get the depth of field I need and at the same time defocus the background. In most family portraits, I need about four and a half feet depth of field. Um, particularly if I place someone behind that posing rock on it and in front of it. And I know that at 150 millimeters, at 30 feet out, at f6.3, I'm going to get 4.6 feet of depth of field. If I need more, if I'm doing a little bit larger group, and I want a little bit more, I can shoot at uh, f7.1, and I'll get 5.17 feet depth of field. Um, there's a handy site you can go to, to to glean this kind of information. It's called dofmaster.com. Uh, it's a great website. It's got a, a depth of field calculator on the site. Um, it's camera specific, 
So you plug in your camera body, what lens you're using at what focal length, what f-stop, what distance, and it'll give you your exact depth of field. In addition, it'll tell you uh, at your particular focus point how much will be in focus in front of that focus point and how much behind. Um, it's a great, great little, little site. They also have an app uh, that you can download for your smartphone. So you could bring it in the field with you and get this information while you're doing a session. So it's pretty cool. So let's get on with our portraits. And we'll take a look at what our... How Mary and Jim and Joshua are looking. They're looking good. Okay, you guys. Here we go. So, we're going to have a good time here and do a bunch of portraits. This is Jerry Vans. I'll see you next time.